Hi, I'm Jacob Lyons. Lately, the entire fifth grade has been studying exhibition. We're doing it about natural, natural disasters. Our class chose tsunamis. I made a pamphlet to show how to prevent and predict a tsunami while giving facts along the way. After you read this beautiful pamphlet, you will know exactly what to do if you're caught in one of these terrible disasters. Um, my tsunami front page says, The most dangerous weather. How to predict and prevent a tsunami. Cover page. I open it up. What to do in case of a tsunami. That's my first section. It gives um, three things to do in case of a tsunami. Three, here are the three things. Get to high ground if the tsunami siren goes off. If you get in an affected area, get a survival kit, which will help you survive. If you don't know what I mean. After the fact, check for injuries before doing anything else. If you have any injuries, go to a doctor immediately. And then my next, that was the what to three, what to do in case of a tsunami section. And now we're on what is a tsunami. A tsunami happens when an underwater disruption happens along tectonic planes. This causes a, a giant wave. Oh, sorry. I'm very sorry. It causes more than one wave, each wave causing more damage. As you may think a tsunami is just one wave, but it's actually like multiple. You don't realize the first couple, but then like the middle ones are the worst. Two ways a tsunami can happen. That's my next section, right about here. The most common way for a tsunami to happen is an underwater earthquake. An, an earthquake is movement on tectonic plates that shift. One other reason that a tsunami is... Another reason a tsunami can happen is an vo underwater volcanic eruption. Ha a volcano bursts lava. Bursts lava out, don't they? But that's only on land. Underwater, they produce giant bubbles that are really hot that goes up and makes a big wave, or a tsunami. Here's my full thing all the way open. We are going to read this section, Facts on Tsunamis. I have two facts that you probably didn't know. Facts on Tsunamis. A tsunami wave can be as tall as a five-story building. Let's say that's about way taller than a six foot four man. That's about, let's say, 20 to 40 feet. That's really big. Tsunami survival pods can have 2.5 hours of air. That's a lot of breathing. A tsunami survival pod is a little escape pod thing from like space movies. But if, a, if the wave hits it, you can be safe in it and nothing nothing will happen but don't stay in there longer than um three hours oh that wouldn't be good and then i have sponsors for my pamphlet to learn more information about this topic look at payson's psa which is a public service announcement and to support this by Jaden's and elizabeth's buttons all of the money goes to funds to help tsunami affected areas those are very, that's a very good way to help out if you want to support people who have been affected by a tsunami. Now, what this is all about, how to predictions and how to prevent a tsunami. A tsunami prediction takes way longer than an earthquake prediction, prediction that caused a tsunami because it has to incorporate ocean data. But it will give you just enough time to get to high ground, like the section what to do in case of a tsunami. Prevention. Actually, there is no way to prevent these disasters, but 
there are technology that can help you prepare. So, I did this because I feel like, I did this pamphlet, which is very, very nice if you ask me. I did this because um, I feel like people should be able to know if they're about to be, um, most likely if a tsunami happens, the chances of you surviving are very low. But with this pamphlet, it may get you to safety in time. So I want more people to survive these natural disasters. And um, it just really explains like why this is important. It's like we want we want this to be good. We don't want anybody to die from these. Um, so it explains this explains why I made this pamphlet. So um, a couple more tsunami facts. Earth, uh, um, any underwater disruption can cause it. A meteor hits the ocean, it can cause a tsunami. There's a lot of ways a tsunami can happen. Any underwater disruption that moved the ships, and even a landslide, which isn't underwater, but it can cause a tsunami. And um, tsunami affected areas are California, Japan, India, all every area close to the Ring of Fire, which is the where volcanoes happen or pop up. Be sure to tell your friends that they um need to stay safe safe during a tsunami if they're in close areas that I just told you about, like California, Japan, or India. I really hope you learned something from my pamphlet and it can keep you safe during a tsunami. Um, thank you for listening. Now you can be safe during a tsunami. Stay safe.